When the owner of Cabot Guns, Robert Bianchin, told me he was gonna be sending me their brand new first ever double stack 1911, my imagination started to run because there's two things that I know about Cabot Guns and the kind of guns they make. Their guns are always exceptional quality and they have to be beautiful. Not sexy, but beautiful. And that gun is the Insurrection. Cabot Guns is the type of gun company that when a meteorite hits our planet, They'll send a fleet of black SUVs and cars filled with people in black suits and weird gadgets, and then take a piece of the meteorite and make two fully functional 1911 pistols and then call them the Big Bang set. So as far as features on the Insurrection, let's start with the actual lower frame. So this is complete stainless steel. So it's not like the combination of polymer and steel on top. This is a double stack stainless steel lower. So it adds a lot of heft and weight to the gun, but it feels amazing. <laughs> it feels incredible. Um, and then on top of that, you're gonna get a five inch barrel and you have two options as far as whether or not you want it ported or not ported. Cause you can see here, there are two slide cuts, which you can tell they kind of put some thought into it in terms of the angle of the sliding and the porting as well. So if you look here, you got the two ports in the barrel and then you have the slide cut. So it integrates really seamlessly. And so you have the gas exporting this way, so it keeps it out of your line of sight while still mitigating the recoil. Then you have what I like to call the kind of aesthetic shelf, right? So you have this, in, this indentation here exists on the other side of the gun as well. And what that is, is it allows you to kind of almost utilize it as a gas pedal, but it looks aesthetic. So again, there's this, this language of, form meeting function, which is consistent throughout this gun. And then you have the lower half, this lower frame here. The lower frame isn't polymer, it's stainless steel. So there is some weight and heft to the gun, which I don't think is a bad thing, I love it. I expect guns like this to be a lot heavier. And I think it adds to why the guns usually shoot so well. But you have a double stack, which doesn't feel and look like your traditional double stack 1911. It kind of feels like, and looks like its own thing. And then you have it comes with two 17 round magazines. They're STI mags, and they've kind of modified them a little bit to kind of increase reliability as far as they say. Um, I haven't had any issues running them with any other magazines that I have for my 2011s, and um, they work just fine. The safety here, I think the safety is kind of a Goldilocks safety. Um, some safeties can be too stiff, some safeties can be too loose where it feels like it's not gonna stay on. Here, it sits perfectly in that middle space where it just fluidly clicks on, clicks off, while giving you the confidence that you know it's gonna stay there. And of course you have the grip safety here, which some people don't like, I don't have a problem with it, but if you look at it, just the attention to detail and the precision that is that you can see that is involved in the creation of this gun, it's just, mm, it's just immaculate. And then here, one of the things that's rather really unique about the Insurrection is the extractor. See, normally you see indications of the extractor on the back side of the gun or on the side of the gun on the slide. Here, the extractor is entirely internal, so you don't have anything here. It's just completely flush and it's clean, adding to the aesthetics of the gun. Um, of course, here you have your 13, 1913 Picatinny rail so that you can put your lights on there. And I mean, other than that, I mean, you got everything you need from a feature standpoint with respect to a gun. Of course, you got your ability to mount the red dot on here as well. Um, and their mounting system allows you to mount it extremely low so that you can co-witness really well with these suppressor height sights that you have here. Um, and they're blacked out suppressor height sights. I mean, they're really high quality in their metal. There's not really much to say about them in terms of that. They don't look cheap. They look very becoming of a gun in this price point. So as far as a feature set, all of everything you need on a gun you have it here. You're not lacking in any way. So for a gun that's so focused on aesthetics, I love the fact that from a functional standpoint, it covers all of its basis as well. If I had to describe the way the insurrection looks in two words, I'd describe it as tactical brutalism. Peaking in the mid 1970s, brutalism was a style of architecture known for its functional reinforced concrete and steel, modular elements and utilitarian feel. When I look at the insurrection, I see a gun made with the same design language as Brutalism, but instead of using concrete, it looks like they use vibranium steel from Wakanda. In reality, the insurrection is made exclusively from 100% US source billet stainless steel and slathered in full plasma diamond-like carbon coating. And it is absolutely stunning in person.
So, you're probably wondering why I'm sitting in this goofy little chair. And the reason why is because the shooting nature of the insurrection gives me lazy. And what I mean by that is, you see, it's an all steel gun. So it's, it's weighty, it's heavy. So the things on it seemingly move slower than when you have a lighter gun. So it gives this kind of energy of, I just want to walk around here and just kind of point at stuff and shoot it. That is until you actually force it to run fast because you don't really have to force it to run fast at all. In reality, it can go fast. It can go really fast actually. But its natural tendency is to kind of just shoot lazily. Now, a couple of factors can play into that. You have the weight, then you have the trigger. So with the trigger, the laziness comes from this, the fact that the trigger inside of that trigger housing sits kind of farther back. And then you have this nice little comfortable curve and you just want to sit on the trigger and then just, just plink at stuff, just plink. But then, you see that reset? I'm gonna show it to you again. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Boom, Whoa! That reset, that reset is where your speed comes from. Because at that point, <laughs> that, 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 that bastard runs, it runs. So, so don't let all the exotic aesthetics and the unassuming trigger fool you. This gun is a runner. It's like a GT versus a sports car. Like a powerful GT can go really fast, but it goes really fast in long distances. And it's comfortable and it's soothing and it's beautiful to look at and all of those things. That's what this is. This is a GT19 double stack 1911. Exactly what it is. And it shoots like one too. And I enjoy shooting it. The recoil, it's, it's nothing. The recoil is just meh. Because you have this porting, plus you have the weight of a stainless steel gun. And then there's a spring aspect too. It comes with three springs, three different weights of springs on the actual gun. So you can even take it further and start tuning this thing to be exactly what you want to make it recoil even as light as possible, depending on the rounds that you're shooting. And, but even as it's set up now, it's just, <laughs> this, thing, this thing is a shooter. It is a shooter. So it's, it shoots as good as it looks. It's the most simple and easiest way I can describe it. Kind of like you. Shut up, Peter. Hey, that was a compliment. <sighs> yeah, but it was weird. And you didn't say pause. Pause. You say something, you gotta pause. The grip module of the insurrection feels more rounded than square. So the gun feels really natural in your hands. And though the grip texture looks aggressive, it actually feels mechanically plush, if that's even a thing. The gun feels dense more than it feels heavy, and the controls like the grip safety, the slide safety, and the trigger feel silky. Long story short, the gun feels just as high quality as it looks. So who is the insurrection for? The insurrection is for somebody that can see beauty in all things. Somebody that can see the beauty and the tranquility of being out here surrounded by the water and the grass and being out here in nature. But then in the alternative, can see the beauty in the industrial aggressiveness of concrete and metal and iron. All of those things, they can see beauty in them. And all of them come together in the insurrection and live harmoniously, aesthetically in this firearm. And it's not even just the aesthetics. It even goes down to the way the gun feels in hand because the gun in hand feels very comfortable, very natural and organic. But because it's a stainless steel, you kind of get this dense hardness to the firearm and this weightiness to the firearm. And a weightiness to this firearm that is, could be argued could be cold and kind of distant. But at the same time, I, it shoots. <laughs> it shoots lazy and then it shoots fast. And then it, it's, it's this like dual personality of a firearm that doesn't necessarily exist in other Knights double stack 1911s. And I gotta say for it being a double stack 1911, it still manages to be its own thing. Like you don't see it and you go, whoa, that's a double stack 1911. You go, 
wow, first of all, that thing is beautiful and mean at the same time. And it feels great in hand. And it, it's just this finish, this DLC finish is just, ah, it's just this dark, beautiful, mm. and I kept, I kept being worried about putting it down on different things when I was out here filming. And I would see a mark and a scratch and I would just go, and it'd be gone. It's just this, this luscious, deep, beautiful black that you honestly, and it sounds cliche, but I have to say it's another way to say, you really just have to see it in person. So if you're somebody that can appreciate the dual aspects of a firearm in terms of the way it looks, the way it shoots, the way it feels, then you might want to go and get your hands on a gun like this, like the Insurrection, especially if you're someone who's really big on the double stack 1911s. This finish, this finish, sometimes it looks gray, sometimes it looks this deep, beautiful black. It's, it, it's just beautiful. Kind of like you. Well, minus the beautiful part. Shut up, Peter. Jesus, I need to get an HR department because you're just getting out of control. You know how frightening it is to think about what happens in the moments before, during, and even days after having to use your gun in self-defense? When you first start carrying a gun for protection, it can be a very scary and nerve wracking experience, especially if you haven't gotten the education and training you need to feel confident. I've been there myself, hoping I never have to go through a self-defense shooting, which is why I'm a member of the USCCA. As a USCCA member, you can eliminate some of the stress of carrying a gun for protection by accessing the amazing wealth of firearm education, training, and current state-specific gun laws of your state or states you may travel to. This can help you be prepared for or hopefully even avoid a self-defense incident. As a bonus, members automatically become insured on the self-defense liability insurance policy purchased by an issue to the USCCA. Click below to learn more. Guns aren't political. That's why I need your help getting this message to spread on YouTube by clicking the thumbs up button, leaving a comment to let me know what you think of the video, then subscribing to the channel. But most importantly, click that bell symbol. For products featured in this video, click the links in the description.